Hello everyone, I'm Mu Yang Li from MIT Han Lab, one of the authors behind Nunchaku and SVD Quant. Thank you so much for your support and interest in our projects. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to install and use Nunchaku on a fresh Windows machine. You can find the corresponding written tutorial in the video description. Let's jump right in. A quick reminder before we begin. Nunchaku currently only supports NVIDIA GPUs. Most models work fine, but a few cards like the 1080, V100, and H100 don't support 4-bit tensor codes, so they are not compatible. I recommend heading over to NVIDIA's website to download and install the latest CUDA toolkit and drivers. We have found that many installation and runtime issues are actually due to the outdated CUDA versions. Installing it is simple. Just pick the right installer for your operating system, run it and follow the default options. After the installation, open your command line and input nvcc version. If you see something like CUDA 12.8, that means it's installed correctly. Next, go to the Microsoft website and download Visual Studio C++. Make sure you check the boxes for Desktop Development with C++, C++ Tools for Linux Development. Then just click Next all the way through to install. Next, we download a standalone 64-bit Git installer from the official site and install it normally. Additionally, I recommend installing Conda to manage your Python environments. You can choose Anaconda or the lightweight Miniconda. Here, I will demonstrate using Miniconda. Download the installer for Windows, run it with default settings, and after installation, you will see something like Anaconda prompt in your Start menu. You will use that to access Conda's Python. Once the setup is ready, let's install Comfy UI. You can skip this step if you have installed it. I'm more used to installing it with command line interface. First, create a new Python environment with Conda. Then, in the command line, run pip install comfy CLI. Comfy CLI install. Follow the prompts to complete the installation. To launch Comfy UI, simply run Comfy CLI launch. You can also install Comfy UI via the portable package. Just make sure to check the Python executable path in the first few lines of the log when launching Comfy UI. For example, mine shows C drive, users, Muyang, Miniconda 3, environments, Comfy UI, Python.exe. This is the Python environment I will use to install Nunchaku. Make sure you do not accidentally install Nunchaku into the wrong Python, like the system default one or it won't be detected by Comfy UI. OK, we can now install the Nunchaku Python package. First, check your Python version and Torch version use your Python pass dash dash version and your Python pass dash m pip show Torch. For example, I'm using Python 3.10 and Torch 2.6. Then install Nunchaku by running your Python pass dash m pip install the URL to the prebuilt view. You can find compatible views for your Python and Torch versions on our Hugging Face, Motoscope, and GitHub release pages. Here I chose the Windows Python 3.10 and Torch 2.6 view. Copied its URL and pasted it into the CMD. To check if the installation was successful, you can try importing Nunchaku with your Python pass dash c 
important on Chaku. If there's no error, you are good to go. You can also test image generation directly with command lines. First, log in with your Hugging Face token by running your Python path dash m Hugging Face CLI login. I've already completed this step, so I'll skip it here. Next, run the following command to start a test. Your Python path dash m nunchaku.test. This might download a test model of Flex Snail. Once it finished, you will find a cat image in your working directory. For me, it's at C drive users muyang. That means installation worked. If the pre-combined view doesn't work, no worries. You can combine it from source. As long as CUDA and Visual Studio C++ are properly set up, this is rather easy. First, install the build dependencies. Your Python path dash m pip install ninja setup tools will build. Then clone our Nanchaku GitHub repo and its some modules. Now we need to set up the MSVC build environment. This part must be done in CMD, not PowerShell. First, find the file of vsdevcmd.bat in your system. It should have been installed along with Visual Studio C++. Mine is located in the folder C drive program files x86 Microsoft Visual Studio 2022 build tools common 7 tools. Then input the path of the script with the argument starter equals to num arc equals to x64 host arc equals to x64. Next, we set the environment variable set this to utilities use sdk equals to 1. Finally, go to the source directory and run your Python path setup.py develop. The build should take around 10 minutes. When finished, you can verify your installation in the same way. If the portable Python environment can't combine on Chaku, you can build a view in the Conda environment first, then install it into the portable Python. In the Conda environment, run set nunchaku install mode equals to all, and then your Python path dash m build dash dash view, no isolation. This will also take around 10 minutes. You will find the view file under the dist directory. Okay, next I will show how to use Nunchaku in your Comfy UI. In your Comfy UI directory, go to custom nodes and clone our Comfy UI Nunchaku plugin. You can also install it via Comfy CLI or Comfy UI Manager. Next, download the required models. First, the official Flux text encoders and VAE. And then our SVD quant 4 bit models. Please use FP4 models if you are using 50 series GPUs. All the other GPUs should use INT4 models instead. Do not mix them up. Please download the entire model folder and put them into Models Diffusion Models directory. Also, you can download some sample LoRa's and place them into Models LoRa's. Finally, copy the sample workflows from ConfUI and Chaku workflows to ConfUI's directory. And then launch ConfUI.
on my machine with 3090 GPUs, you can see the performance is really fast. If you disable the Flux Turbo LoRa, make sure to increase the number of inference steps. That's it for today's video. If this tutorial was helpful to you, please consider following our GitHub repo to stay updated and give us a small start to support our projects. And of course, don't forget to like this video. Thanks for watching.